Kevin Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? Kevin Jackson here. I hope you had a great weekend. KJRadio.com is where you can find out more about us. Get the show on demand 24-7, and I hope you do. And I hope you share those clips. The way we do the show is we have the incomplete show you can listen to. You can listen to it live by going there any time when it is uh, time for it to be on. But if you don't, then you can listen to it by segments. We have four segments per hour, so there's a total of 12 segments in the entire show. So 13 things are uploaded every single day for the show. So if you want to only hear a segment that you heard well, you know, for hour two, segment one, you can go get it. That's how we allow you to grab the show, share it to others, and I hope you will because we certainly need the exposure because that's what we do. We are a messaging company, and you're part of that message. The reason why you're here is somebody likely told you about us. So do the same for them. And I'm not doing it self-servingly. I don't care. You know, it's like when I taught martial arts in um in a at a corporate when I worked at a corporation, and there was one class where three or four people showed up. I can't remember how many, but it was about that many. And uh, one of the guys said to me, uh, his name is Bill. He says, Kevin, you know, he says, Mr. Jackson, he goes, you know, what do you do if nobody shows up? And I said, I teach the walls, meaning I work out. I don't care if you guys show up. They pay me to do this. So if you don't show up, don't show up. Most of the time, the class is at 30, 35 people. But occasionally, maybe it was a holiday weekend. People wouldn't show up. What do I do? I do what I do. So I don't care whether four people are getting the message or four million are getting the message or it's just me reinforcing who I am. So that's the way I approach it. Do we want more people to learn? Yes, I want when I was teaching martial arts, I wanted more people to learn my style so that they could go out and protect themselves and be good human beings and so on and so forth. But if you you know want to learn, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm still going to be out here doing what I do. And that's just the truth. Uh, now, am I tired of doing it <laughs> and, you know, and, and waiting on somebody else to go, hey, Kevin, we recognize your talent. Sure, everybody gets tired of that. My talent is, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't mean this in a bragging way, but, you know, look, I've been doing this long enough to not, I'm not going to try to impress anybody. You know, executives will call me, so Kevin, no, here's what we do at our radio network. And I go, well, fantastic. So, you know, where would I sit <laughs> is all I need to know. I don't need to hear your, your resume. And, and I'll be honest with you, I think that probably rubs some people the wrong way. But, I don't, you know, I, I, wish I, could, I wish I could tell you I cared because maybe I'd be sitting in one of those seats. But I don't. All I care about is the people who are committed to this effort the way I am. Let's do it. I was thinking today about how the left treats Donald Trump. And, and a, it's just a matter of perspective, but I want people to understand that perspective is important. So Brian Ross actually did the president and the conservative movement a big favor. He validated that leftist news outlets only care about outcomes fitting their narratives. And if you don't know who Brian Ross is, he works for ABC and he puts a story out there that says Donald Trump, you know, told Flynn to contact the Russians. And of course, that sent the left on a uh, you know, oh my goodness, they went crazy. Let's play that Joy Behar clip. Welcome back to the show. Breaking news. Oh my God. Oh, breaking oh. news. ABC News Brian Ross is reporting Michael Flynn promised full cooperation to the Mueller team and is prepared to testify that as a candidate, Donald Trump directed him to make contact with the Russians. Yes! <laughs> Uh, Joy, I think I'd file that under breaking fake news. So she's celebratory. The left are celebratory. You saw the the audience of the view. <laughs> you know, train seals clapping at whatever. And don't think for one second the view is going to come back on and go, you know, the breaking news thing that Joy did. Well, that's no longer breaking news. It was kind of wrong news. Huh? <laughs> Anyway, Ross was quickly found out, and now President Trump, who got dumped in crap, emerges in a tux smelling like a rose. Yeah, hey, uh, looking good, am I not? (laughs) 
So consider that every time the left cries foul, the public becomes more and more immune to these tales of woe. Recall, the left predicted the economy would crater under Trump. And what do we end up experiencing? The lowest unemployment figures in a decade, in decades actually, consumer confidence through the roof. You guys heard me talk about the record Black Friday numbers, the record Cyber Monday numbers. And I predict the most brisk shopping center, shopping center, shopping season in a decade. I know, I know, psychic, right? Wow, Kevin, you're amazing at how amazing, you know, I mean, I know it sounds trite to even have to go into that because you now know, I mean, there's, I'm not teaching you anything to say, yeah, Kevin, we all know it's going to be a great economy over Christmas. And you know what else is going to happen? Let me tell you. In January, when they adjust the jobs numbers to show that we had to, you know, overemployment because of the seasonal work and they readjust to go back to regular jobs, Donald Trump will have the jobs ready to fill those for people that want jobs. And you're not going to be hearing about, oh, we need a livable wage. We need $15 an hour. How, when's the last time you heard somebody screaming for $15 an hour minimum wage? Oh, will it come back? Sure it will. But when kids have to have jobs too, because that's how you build your economy is by getting these kids with, with entrepreneur. Think about what happens when we're killing the entrepreneur because we say you're going to have to pay these kids $31,000. So you don't even have a new branch of entrepreneur, a new group of entrepreneurs coming up because they don't know how to work. The reason why you put kids to work early is so they learn work ethic. They learn what it takes to run a business, that it's not as simple as what they just getting a paycheck. And that's what makes them appreciate it going through. That's what makes conservatives. So when you kill that, you're killing capitalism and you're killing conservatism. The left knows it. Anyway, they predicted all kinds of dire stuff, dire you know, things that were going to happen. Donald Trump returns from Asia, $250 billion trade package. For the United States, got the Chinese to drop tariffs from 17.3% to 7.7% on an average of 100, in, well, by average, I should say, on 187 products, and not a peep from the media. But wait until Mr. Dow hears about it. And let's not forget about bringing home those three black basketball thieves in the process. Now, how racist was that, right? Again, another leftist narrative blown. Mind blown, folks. That's what we're going to do is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177 or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath A Book of Hope Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four letter word that you may feel completely out of I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all too familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road, and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 